Hey guys, today I wanted to show you this um, Lego minifigure of Captain Rex from the Clone Wars that I made recently. Um, obviously this isn't amazing because I just made it myself with some uh, paint and some um, some pens. But the result is better than what I expected, so I thought this would be good enough to show off on my YouTube channel. Basically... You know, the head is just a normal new clone head. Um, the pauldron is pretty much the same than the uh, Clone Army Customs version. I just um, tried to make it a, my own version with paper. Uh, the comma is just a painted Lego comma that's white, I think, from the old snow troopers that I had. And uh, yeah, the blaster is easy to do. You just clip off the side from the normal Lego blasters. Um, it was a bit complicated. The, I mean, obviously the J guys are not symmetrical. I made this by hand, but it's okay, I guess. It has the marks for, uh, you know, when he made his armor uh, fusing phase one and phase two. You can also see that on the torso back and you can see it on the back actually, if you take off the jetpack, like such, you can see it there. Um, so yeah, you can take the jetpack if you want, and I have the normal Captain Rex. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to put on the um, the Ragefinder, because, you know, the LEGO Phase 2 helmets don't have the holes for those. I do have a few, but unfortunately, yeah, the helmet doesn't have the holes, and it's quite a pain to glue together, because they always fall off. Um, also, I haven't seen this a lot, but I like to do hand printing. Like, um, the clones, I just, you know, they have the black hand because of the black gloves, and then depending on what the color of the plate is on their armor, I just put it in. Normally he has tally marks, but of course that is such a small detail that already putting printing on the hand was difficult on its own. Let's not do tally marks, although I did that for another clone using uh, stickers that I made, but I'm out of the double-sided tape, so I wasn't able to do that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have any suggestions on what I could do to improve next time I make another minifigure, which I'm definitely going to do, um, then leave a tip in the comments below if you liked it, well, leave a like. Um, subscribe if you enjoy my content, but you don't have to. And, uh, yeah, hope you liked it.